In this episode, I unveil my 2019 plans, hopes, and dreams for the channel. Hey there, welcome to the channel. My name is Grant Tommy. This is Straight Six Fan, where I like to focus on budget minded, relatable, creative builds. A little something I like to call offbeat hot rodding. And today I am going to unveil my goals, my hopes, my dreams for the YouTube channel here in 2019. But this, this isn't the first time I've done this. I actually did this last year in 2018. That's right, a year ago today I stood in this very room and I laid out my 2018 plans. Which, if you weren't exactly sure what those were, check it out over here. But, uh, um, if you don't want to watch that, uh, I just wanted to do a quick recap on what it was in 2018 I was trying to accomplish. So let's review that. So first things first, it was to double my subscriber count. Which I did with Flying Colors. I went from 307 subscribers this time last year to 787 today. So I not only met that goal, but I exceeded it. Now that was actually thanks in part to the, oh, the AdSense apocalypse of 2018, February 20th, a bittersweet day really for uh, my channel and my channel's growth because while I was projected to make $400 last year through AdSense because I was monetized, um, I, you know, I didn't hit the threshold when I needed to on February 20th, so I lost that. Like I said, I was projected to make $400 in revenue from uh, AdSense alone last year, and I only made $102. They paid me out finally, the final payment uh, there on February 20th last year. But without that, I would not have come up with new revenue streams like um, Amazon Associates, my Spreadshirt store, uh, things like that. So. Actually, in 2018, I was able to make $250 for the year end. So while that was still 150 short of um, what I was supposed to make, um, it did help me uh, figure out different ways to make money. One of the other things I wanted to do was get a new camera. So we are shooting on that new can camera, the Canon SL2, uh, which as I mentioned in a previous video, I bought a new lens for that or got one for Christmas. Uh, that's been a huge upgrade for the channel and I think you guys can see, if you watched last year's video, again, somewhere up here, um, <laughs> compared to this year's video, huge difference, huge upgrade in that as well. Okay, I also said I was gonna get back on the every other Sunday schedule because it was inconsistent back then. Again, this is where the adpocalypse helped uh, me get to new levels of consistency uh, and get out of my comfort zone. So I've actually, for the course of the year, basically done at least once a week upload on Sunday, 8.30 p.m., as you know. Um, but for a short period of time there, when I was trying to get, uh, you know, when they announced the adpocalypse thing to the February 20th date, um, I think I was doing three a week. Um, but that's also, it's also brought about the Know Your Neighbor series, which is brand new for 2018. Um, was because we're in 2019 now there were also it was a good chunk of the year i did two times a week that also helped me get back on the rat rod radio flyer uh, which was a huge goal so check that off now i didn't actually do the billet connecting rod like i said i was i bought it but i never actually put it in um i didn't do the hubcaps but by and large i got that project where i wanted it to be in 2018 I sold my Jeep, I bought a new vehicle. That was something else I said I wanted to do. And I finally bought, as you know, Project Low Fairmont, my first ever project vehicle. So I thought 2018 was generally a success. Now let's get back to 2019 because there are big things ahead. Okay, so let's talk about 2019 then. So first things first, subscribers. So obviously the goal is to get to a thousand, right? So after today's live stream that I did with Monkey Fab Garage, which by the way, you should check out because it was totally awesome. Um, I, I bet I'm pretty dang close to the 4,000K watch time hours. Um, I'm hovering right around, uh, I'm over 3,900 for sure, uh, but getting close to the 4K. <clears throat> so I want to hit a thousand subscribers by March 8th of this year, which 
would be the fourth year, March 8th, 2015 was my first year, or my first upload here on YouTube. So I wanna hit 1,000 subscribers by then. But the goal for the year would be much like last year, and that would be to double subscribers from what I'm at. So if I was at 787 at the conclusion of 2018, I wanna be at 1574, I think that's the math, uh, at the end of 2019. Okay, the biggest, most impactful thing, I guess, that should be due up next for this channel is I want to redo the lighting here in the garage. Um, that's what's killing me on the production of my videos right now, or the quality of them. Uh, too much noise going on. Um, the new lens helps, of course. Uh, I can really up the ISO on the SL2, but I still get noise. So I want to get better lighting, and then behind the camera, uh, you guys might remember my kstatesports.com uh, press conference drop back, drop back, backdrop. Um, I want to do a new accent wall for that, for live streams, for things like this when I'm just sitting and talking in front of a camera. So that is on the docket as well. Okay, so we talked about how my t-shirts brought in some extra revenue in 2018. For 2019, I want to release two new designs. Now I will probably do those separately, like a spring release and a fall release, uh, much like a musician would. I don't want to be, you know, too close to, uh, I don't want to, people will just lose sight of or forget about the other ones, so it'll just give me an idea to, uh, or an opportunity to uh, refresh the market that way. So, uh, look for those. Um, I've got two ideas cooking, of course, otherwise I wouldn't have told you two ideas, <laughs> uh, but that's something else I want to do. You know, a big part of what 2018 success was, was collaborations. And I've got a couple of those planned as well. So one is with uh, Catfish Jones, who is a Kansas uh, vlogger. Uh, he likes the music stuff, but he's in Salina, which is, uh, well, this is not 100% accurate, but more or less uh, middle of the northern part of the state. And, uh, but there's a big car show that goes on. It's a rat rod fest. They call it the lead sled, something or another uh, in 2019. And that date is July 25th. So it'd be really cool to get uh, a bunch of you guys uh, to come to that as well. AKAR Life down in Wichita, who I've collabed with a couple of times, uh, is interested as well. But this would just be a great way for us Kansas uh, creators to get together. Now, whether or not I do this shoot while I'm out that way, uh, or it's a totally different time, uh, one of the must shoots I want to do for 2019 is there's this, uh, I find a seat on Craigslist all the time, but there's out in Great Bend, Kansas, which I would say is, oh boy, uh, 45 minutes east, no, 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 west, southwest of Salina that I just talked about. Um, it has a bunch of cool classic iron. I'm talking like 40s and 50s stuff, a lot of rat rod uh, potential out there. I just think it'd be cool to go shoot his yard. It's not really my style, but I think it would be a great... Um, it's, it has very much a lot to do with the things I'm interested in, uh, so I would like to do that as well. Another collab, uh, so Old Car Auto Guy, and he might be a little upset that I'm letting the cat out of the bag, but he might, might make his way down to the upper Midwest uh, in the States coming up this year in mid-May for a wedding. So now no guarantees there, but just something that that would be super cool to be able to collab with him in person as well. Of course, 2019 wouldn't be a successful year unless I finish Project Low Fairmont. So uh, definitely that's gonna be the main focus in the first half of the year because I wanna get it done in time for summer, just to cruise around in summer in it, uh, and then put it up for sale, and then hopefully, Hopefully, the other objective would be to buy project car number two after I sell this. Uh, so that'll be exciting to see what that might be, but I'm really excited to, um, to get this going now. Uh, you'll begin to see a little change from at least the appearance of my channel. So now aside from some legacy uh, playlists like the Rat Rod Radio Flyer and Know Your Neighbors, um, everything else from here forward is gonna use uh, the new intro screen, as well as the new um, thumbnail style. And I want to redo an, an end screen, a new end screen. If any of you guys know how to use Adobe After Effects, I think is, eh, I'm, I think I'm getting this wrong, but it's whatever the animation studio is. Um, contact me, I want to tweak, I never, I used Fiverr, F-I-V-V-E-R, 
or, or just R, whatever, uh, for the animation screen, but uh, I never really got exactly what I wanted out of the deal, so I wanna redo my intro screen as well and get it exactly the way I want. Okay, so the final announcement for 2019 is I wanna bring back the YouTube extravaganza, and I'm gonna call it Tube 66 because it's gonna feature, um, I wanna do a hot rod power tour style event, a two day event uh, that cruises Route 66 from Tulsa, Oklahoma to Amarillo, Texas. Uh, but I need your guys' help to organizing this. I need your help. Who, first off, who's interested in going? And then we need to start like, First things first, we need to settle on a date. And I'm thinking, originally I wanted to do either late March, early April, small window, but Easter kind of complicates that. Um, and then, so my other thought is then June. Um, so guys, tell me what you think, if you're interested in going, uh, what date works for you? Um, because I want to start start getting into a little more details so we can start like uh, setting out a hotel reservation. So I mentioned this on a live stream before um, earlier this fall, but the idea would be we would meet at about five o'clock in Tulsa, Oklahoma on a Friday, and we would cruise to the Oklahoma City area, um, find some hotels there. I want to go to this gas station called Pops, P-O-P-S. Google it, it's pretty cool. It's on the north east side of Oklahoma City. Um, It'd be a great meetup place for a bunch of car guys. Then uh, that night, find some hotels down near Bricktown, Oklahoma City. Uh, kind of hit up the bars, just enjoy each other's company, get to know each other better on a personal level. Then the next day, get up and then head for Amarillo. And so the thought there is uh, make a stop at, I should have looked this up, but the site of Jim Connor 10, the small town uh, in Texas. But then go eat at the uh, the Big Texan Steakhouse, you know, the one that has the giant steak challenge, whatever it is. Um, I just think that'd be really cool. It's short, it's compressed, it's compact, but it gives an opportunity for, there's a bunch of you guys down in Texas to come up. And then being the two day event means that you don't necessarily have to do both days. You could, maybe the Saturday works out better for you. Uh, maybe the, the Friday evening works out better for you for an up and back kind of thing. But that's what I, I, you know, Greg Porter did, used to put together the YouTube extravaganza in his, in his heyday, and I want to bring that back. I just think it'd be a great, great way for us all to uh, get it, get together in person, to be able to to meet up, get to know each other better, form some relationships, tons of content to film that way. So give me your thoughts. Let's let's fine tune this thing. Let's make this into something that works for as many people as possible. But guys, I hope you enjoyed my 2018. I enjoyed your 2018, watching all of the uh, the content out there that you guys have been creating. Hey, you surely didn't forget the whole like, subscribe, comment, share thing, right? I hope we can grow together. Uh, I've enjoyed getting to know a lot of you guys through the course of the year. That'll do it for this episode. And until next time, as you know, Happy New Year and say it with me. Peace out.